Hey guys, it's Terry. Welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee. So this was the clear winner, the little layered necklace. Um, I'm just cold. It's in the house. It's starting to rain outside. You might hear some thunder cracking. Um, it's getting it's getting nasty outside. So, um, but I did. You know, there's the the little top, and um, I did go ahead and pair it with the layered necklace. I got my nails done a pretty kind of burgundy color for the upcoming <laughs> upcoming fall. I just was in the mood for that color today. So um, what I'm going to do is open my fashion. I've already looked at it, but I haven't tried anything on. Um, I like most of the pieces in here, and I was actually kind of surprised because from the preview, I didn't really like anything. But I had her send it anyway as um, because I, excuse me, I'm going to be gone next week, and I was afraid that if I declined everything in there to make her start over that it would I would come when I was on vacation and I didn't want that um, surprisingly I liked a lot of the things in here um, except one piece I really 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 hate <laughs> so <laughs> you'll see that but we're gonna still try it on for you anyway um, so I have my price list and I am missing an item they're sending it late so um, I'll film that on another day it is a little floral it's this it's a floral long sleeve that would be good for layering, but um, it didn't come in in time, and I said just ship it, and then I'll, I, I don't know, maybe it'll come today, maybe it'll be here next week, but I think it went out, so, um, and she sent a nice little note. Um, I had Amy as my stylist. Now, Fashion does have a website now. Um, they also have an app, and you can download the Fashion app and um, request a box. Um, you kind of think... So you get three box. Unless they've changed it, you get your first. Oh, I need that. You get your first three boxes for free, and then you just keep, you know, what you like and pay for that. The unique thing about Fashion is if you keep three items, you do get um, twenty five percent off. If so, it's it, to your benefit to find at least three things that you like. Um, they you have to select a minimum of five items but you can select up to seven so I've got one two three four five three four five six seven it says seven but they must have replaced some there's something in here that's on here on my sheet it shows a card again but I don't think I got a cardigan. I don't know. Maybe it is. I will take a look at it. I didn't look at anything really closely yet. Um, and so I have six items to show you today. I'll show you the seventh item after I get um, after I get it. And um, if I kept all of it, so all seven items, it'd be three hundred and fifty three dollars, which is a lot. Um, but with the twenty five percent off, it brings it eighty eight dollars and twenty five cents comes off. So if I kept seven items, it'd be two sixty four seventy five. So I'll go through and tell you the prices for the items as we look at them, and then we'll try them on and do final thoughts. Um, I won't keep everything because I don't have that much money um, to spend on, on clothes. And my Natalie Attired came in, um, and I have another trend send coming in. And overwhelmingly, everybody said, put the trend send video up, the, the portion that I had, just showing you what pieces I have. That's going to hopefully go up today. So hopefully you get to see that. Um, you do get your mailer to mail anything back, and it is a priority mailer, which I always I like that better than having to go to UPS or FedEx. Okay, so this first item is a lace short sleeve sheath dress, and it's $57. So real pretty short sleeve. Um, has a hidden zipper in the back. It's a little bit of a shorter dress. It's all lace all the way down. Like it's like a lace um, overlay. So you can kind of see there. It goes, the lace goes all the way down. It's very, very pretty and it has a pretty scalloped edging. So you'll see that better once it's on. Hopefully I can get it on for you because I might not be able to zip this up myself. <laughs> we'll put it on as much as we can. I might just not be turning around. But this is $57. Um, it's by a company, it's a petite, it's by a company called Sharagano. Okay, so we'll look at that. This is the piece I hate <laughs> right here. Okay, so this is a dress, again with the hidden zipper. It's London Time Petite. It, um, it's a 10 petite. So it's neat. It's like a, it's a, like a blue, cobalt blue and black. 
And then it comes down, and at the bottom, there's a ruffle. Um, I don't like the pattern. So I know I won't get this because I hate I hate the pattern. I just don't like it. But um, this one is... Um, this one is, where is it? Sheath dress. That's the one I just had. Okay. Printed flounce hem sheath dress. This is $55. So that one I do know is going back. That's the one piece I just really didn't like. I didn't like it in the preview, but I, but I have been pleasantly surprised. There's a few items on here that I had had them send me that I also was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like them. But now that they came in, I do like them. So I was hoping, you know, this one might be one, but it's not. I really don't like it. Okay, so this next one, oh, it is a cardigan. Okay, I thought it was just a sweater. So this is a little button down, kind of a, it, it's not like a, it's not like a super black. It's almost like a charcoal color, um, little button down cardigan. It's a little short. Um, it looks it looks cute. Um, this is absolutely creative worldwide. Actually, Stitch Fix carries this brand too. Um, this is a medium, and it says "Wear Me Two Ways" for a classic look. Buttons in the front for a casual look. Buttons in the back and slightly off shoulder. Okay, so that's interesting. That I was wondering why there was no tag here. The tag's underneath the arm here. So you can wear it this way and have the buttons in the back and have some of your back showing. Or you can wear it like a classic cardigan this way or open or closed. This, um, this I do like. This is um, $54 for this one. A little pricey for it, but it's a sweater. So that was my first bundle. Is my second bundle. It's not super neat because I messed it up. This was one of the ones that I was surprised about that I do like. We'll see what it looks like on though because sometimes these fronts don't look good on me. But this is um, Everly size medium. Um, and where is it? Sleeveless or place top blouse. This is $40. So I'm interested in seeing how this lays. It's got a little bit of a different neckline where it comes up here, but I don't, I think it's going to fold over. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. I think it goes like, I think it's going to fold over like that. And then it's sleeveless and it crosses in the front and it's got a high low. Um, I'm going to come in close so you can see it's black and white. And that's the print. And this was prettier than I thought. So, um, and this would be cute for work. Might be cute with the cardigan. This next one is a pink um, rain pleated shoulder blouse. This is $45. This is by DR2, also in a medium. Here it is. And these are work work blouses, which is what I asked her for. And this is a beautiful color, um, high, low, right in line for the season, which I really love. And this one I can try with the cardigan on too. Um, it's very pretty. You see it's got the little pleat detail on the arms. It's really cute. So I hope that fits because I do like this one. The prices are a little bit more expensive this go round. And then the last piece is a pair of petite capri work pants. These are 10 10 Petite, and they are by Amanda Chelsea. And these are how much? $57. So these are a little expensive. So um, they're just a gray um, button dress pant. And then they come down and they're, they're a crop. Um, because she thought it might be too, if, you know, I could probably wear these for a couple more months. And then they'll be put away for the, the winter season. Um, and then they'll come back out in the spring. And this, I, you know, I was actually thinking of like kind of making a capsule wardrobe for the winter with like creams, whites, the blush pink, rose, gray, black, like kind of keeping things 
I don't know. I'll probably get bored because I like other colors too. So, um, but anyway, I only need to keep three of these items to get 25% off. I also do have a link down below and you guys, if you use it, you'll get $10 credit on your first box and you'll give me $10 credit. Um, I think it is a good time to try fashion if you haven't. I know when I first rolled out fashion, it was probably not the right time for some of you, or you may have tried it and then given up because in the beginning they had a rough go of it, but it's, it's really gotten to where you'll enjoy the pieces now. They're sending much better quality. The prices are good. Um, the last, this is my third box, but the last few boxes have been really good. Um, the only problem that I've had a little bit is with some fit issues, which I fit issues all the time with all of them sometimes. The only one that I feel like I don't have as many fit issues with is probably Stitch Fix. But when I switched stylist, I did have problems and I had to get her straight on like, okay, if I have a maxi, don't send me a large, send me a medium petite. If I have, you know, a, if it's sleeveless, I can do a medium. If it has sleeves or, or if there's, it, or if it doesn't, but there, and there's no stretch, I probably need a large. So this one here, um, the, like the black and white printed sleeveless is a medium. We'll see if it fits because um, there's no stretch in that. Um, actually, both these blouses, there's no stretch in, and I think they're both. So this is a medium too. Yeah, this is a medium too. So we'll see if they fit. Um, my sizes are a little wonky right now anyway. Like I bought a size 10 cut from the cloth um, because I have a couple eights and I felt like they were still a little too snug. But the 10 has like a good two inches of extra in it this morning when I woke up. I mean, just very, very loose right now and they keep falling down. I'm wearing them now. So um, so you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do with my sizes. I should have gotten an eight in those, but Oh, well. All right. So let's try this stuff on and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I have the little lace um, dress on and I think it's too, it's definitely too short for work. Um, it might be okay for like a date night out uh, with a boyfriend, but it's, I would not wear this to work because it's just a little too short for my comfort for work. I feel like if I bent over, the goods are going to ha come hanging out. So I'll show you. It's very pretty with the lace. There's lace on the arm. I don't have any um, shapewear on. Make sure no dogs are behind me. But here it is. So it's very, very pretty. It's just a little bit too short for work. So um, it, it, it just comes to my fingertips, which I think is too, is too short. Um, this to me is like, this is definitely a date night dress. That's that's what I would wear this with. So, and I just paired it with some black heels. So, it's pretty. Um, I don't know if I would, I don't know. I, this one I'm gonna have to think about. It fits fine. It's just short, so. But it's really beautiful. See, in the back, I feel like it comes up a little even shorter. So um, that's just a little concern. It's just, I'd probably be tugging at it all the time. I hate this on just as much as I hate it <laughs> off. Um, so here it is. It's not flattering on me. Um, actually, let me show you this way first. So now it's a good length, and I don't mind the ruffle at the bottom, but um, I don't like it. So, and it, you definitely need, I need shapewear with this. I'm trying to, all right, let me see if I can back all the way up so you can see this. There we go. Yeah, this is just not me. Um, it's not my style. And um, I don't like the pattern. And it, I feel like the, these dots or whatever, I feel like it's accentuating the extra weight in my belly. So this one is a... Easy no. All right. Um, I'm going to try on the pants with the tops now. Hold on. Guys, so those pants, I don't know if they're maybe junior sizes. I could barely get them over my hips. I was able to do that, but they were not going to even come close to zipping or buttoning, so I could not show those to you. Um, so I just put my jeans back on. But this is the little top for work, and it fits fantastic. And this is a medium. And I think I'm going to keep this. Let me back up so I can show you guys. 
Um, it's see-through, so I would need to wear a, and it's, it's a little bit longer in the back. I would need to wear a cami with this. There. <laughs> I have makeup on it. So I would need to wear like a little tank or something under here because it's really see-through. Um, but it's comfortable. And I love the color of this. So I think that I will wear this. Um, this doesn't bother me. You know, there's not a lot of room in the bottom here. But I don't wear the shirts pulled down like this. I wear them like this. So, um, Or I wear them tucked in. A lot of times I'll do a, a front tuck at work. Or maybe this one I think would be really cute and in, tucked inside like a, my black leather um, skirt. I have like a long, a long skirt that I can wear to work. Um, and I think this would look really cute tucked in to that. So there's that. But like I said, this one does need, you know, it probably needs a cami. I think it, I don't know if you guys can see, it is kind of see-through. It doesn't, I, I can see like a little bit my bra, but um, the lights from the candles are shooting everywhere. So Sorry, my ankle gave out. Um, I don't know if you can tell that it's see-through, but it is. So anyway, so this is probably a keeper. I do like this. All right, I'm going to put, actually, let's go ahead and throw this over it. So this is the little Cardi. I want to see how this fits. This is normally a brand that is runs pretty inexpensive. Um, I've gotten something from Creative Worldwide, and it was not this expensive. This one's a little pricey. So this is if if I was going to wear it like this with this shirt, I'm going to leave it unbuttoned because it looks weird otherwise. Because it looks it comes down so deep. Um, I don't actually. I don't know if I like this. Um, because I'm never going to wear a shirt that comes down so deep is this. I know you can turn it around and wear it the other way. It's very comfortable. Maybe wearing it the other way would be cute or maybe a like a just a one button type of a thing. Um, it's very comfortable. I'm gonna have to think on this one. What do you guys think about this one? Yay or nay? Let me blow this out. We were having um, a storm. Okay, so I don't know about this. This is a maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure that I like how this falls. So we'll see. Have to play with it a little bit more. All right. I'm going to try the, the last top on. I'm trying to figure out the neckline on here. This thing is really weird. Um, I don't know how it's supposed to, if it's supposed to lay. God darn, I'm so tired of my hair. It's always in the way. Um, so if it, if I try to fold this one over, then it twists right here. And if I leave it up, then it feels really, maybe I can tuck it under. It feels really weird on my neck. I don't know how that goes. This is a medium, guys, just so you're, for, for reference. Um, yeah, see, I don't like how this is. This is going to drive me nuts. I think that if I can't figure this out, then I probably would not get this top because I'm not going to be wanting to really fuss with something this much in the morning. <sighs> yeah, I don't like this neck. This is driving me crazy. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I guess that looks okay. I don't know. Um, but here it is. And it's also very, very blousey. So it's, I don't think that this is attractive on me, actually. Maybe if it was, I don't know, maybe if it was like this. You got rid of all this extra fabric back here. That's a little bit more better for me, but more better. <laughs> See, even this, I don't like how, like, this is. I, yeah, I think this one's going to be a no. If it was like this, I'd say maybe to it. 
See, that would that looks a little bit better. But once you add in all this, I mean, it's good if you're trying to hide a tummy, but it doesn't. I don't like how it's laying, and I can't figure this out. Now it is tacked here, so I'm guessing it. I'm guessing it's supposed to lay just open like that, but then the neck is all screwed up. So you have to do something with the neck. Yeah, this one's going back. I can't deal with this. This is going to drive me insane. I just, this is a no. Um, yeah, no. Plus I think it, I don't think it's flattering to my shape with all this extra material on it. So, um, okay. That's all I have. So hold on and let's come back and talk about what we think. Okay, guys. So, um, unfortunately I think this box is mostly a mess. I'm not going to be keeping three items to get the discount. Um, I do want to stand up and kind of show this to you. One of the things that I'm trying to do this year is wear items that fit my body. Um, it looks better on me to have a lump and a bump showing and have things come in a little bit tighter than to wear things so over large just to try to cover everything up. My body is what it is, lumps and bumps and all. And so I like one of the outfits for my stitch fix was a top just like this in navy. And I was like iffy on it. And every one of you guys was like, that looks amazing on you. And it was because it was more fitted and it showed the curves and it just, it wasn't covering anything up. I think we think that we have to cover everything up because we have a lump or a bump here. And let's face it, except for those 20 year olds out there who have perfect bodies, you know, we all have things that we're not proud of. And so I think by, I don't think we're doing ourselves justice though, by covering it up. So I'm going to stand up and just show you this. Let me put you guys back here a minute. Okay. So this little top, here it is. And you know, okay. It's got the ruching on the side, which is helpful, but oh, there you go. So you see that like, it's okay. This looks better on me than that um, that other top that had the big blousing here and was coming out like this far from my body in the front and it just didn't look good. So um, these are more the style that I think I'm going to move to from now on a little bit more form fitting. Stuff with stretch. <laughs> Definitely stretch. So um, let's go over what we got though. All right. So um, let's bring you guys down so you can see. Sorry, Nitro's doing Nitro. All right. So obviously, guys, this one was a no. Not only was it just, I couldn't figure out the collar of it. It didn't, it wasn't flattering on me. And hush. Um, and how much is this? I think it was a little expensive as well. Okay, this is $40. It wasn't bad, 40 bucks. But it just, I just didn't, I like the print. I just didn't like how it looked, and I this part was driving me crazy, as you saw. Now, this one, however, I do like, and I think this is the piece I'm going to keep. This one is $45, and I think this is a nice piece. It's a beautiful color. I really like the color, and I'm going to be able to wear this tucked in to skirts, and I can wear it with my dress pants, and then I can add a cute little cardi over it. So I do like this, and I think I am holding it up funny. I think I am going to keep this one. So this one will stay with me. Hush nitro, please. All right. So this one, this little cardigan, I wasn't impressed with this cardigan and it's $54. And I think that's a little much for a creative world um, wide um, or absolutely creative worldwide is the, the brand of this. Um, these, their, their items are, are pretty inexpensive and $54 is too much for this. And it's, it's such a low V that unless you're going to wear it the other way where it is, um, the, the buttons maybe are in the back, but then I think honestly for myself that that would be too close up to my neck and I don't think I'd like it either. So, um, this one is going to go back and I just think that the price is a little too high for this, for what it is. All right. These are going back because they didn't fit. And I think they might be a junior size. Um, and in juniors, I definitely am not a 10. I would definitely be like a 13 and a junior. So um, these do not fit. There's no stretch to them. Cute in theory, but they just bad fit. They're definitely not a woman's 10. That's for sure. You guys know I don't like this. Oh, the pants. 
how much were those pants? Um, the pants were $57. This dress is $45, but I just, oh no, I'm sorry. This dress is $55. I don't like it. That's going back. All right. The lace dress, um, $57. Um, I am not going to get this. I cannot wear it to work, which is most of my living, eating, breathing time. It's too short. I do think my boyfriend would like it on me for a, a date night. But the other thing I'm concerned about with the whole thing being lace, this is going to get caught on my jewelry. It's going to snag. I'm a little nervous. I had to be super careful with like my bracelets that it didn't snag. And I'm just a little too nervous to wear all lace like this. So, um, so I am going to send it back. So right now, now I am missing and I'll I'll reserve judgment. I don't know what to do with that. If I should send what I'm not keeping back, because it's not going to change the price. Um, this floral top that they're going to send separately, that one is $45. So I'm, I guess they'll probably send another bag um, to send that back if I don't want it. But as of right now, I do like that pink top for work. So that is what I'm going to be keeping. And the rest I am going to bag up and send back. So um, that is my fashion for this month. Let me know your thoughts below. If you guys um, haven't already, please subscribe. I know a lot of you guys have already, now that I want to beg you, but um, would love to have you as a part of our family here on Southern Yankee. And, um, and if you hit the like button, I would appreciate it. I also do have a giveaway going on on my channel um, under the Jewel Scent, the Jewel Scent Hall. So take a chance and uh, look at that. Um, okay, so that's it for now. I'll see you guys all again.